these parents need to be held accountable for these children. Right. That's where it starts at home. I'm sorry, it's, it starts at home. Excessive, unexcused absences, also known as truancy, was a hot topic at ABC 24's Let's Talk Town Hall in Raleigh. Several people were worried about the long-lasting impacts it could have on children and Memphis as a whole. Stephen Reels is covering what stakeholders believe is a solution to the problem. Stephen, how are parents, juvenile court, and MSCS working together to fight truancy? Well, Pepper, you said it right there. A lot of stakeholders in this situation, and this was actually the focus today at the Shelby County Juvenile Court in hopes of helping hold parents accountable, understanding the issues that lead to truancy, and addressing the issue impacting 40,000 Memphis Shelby County school students. The only way we will get the resolution if we talk to the parents. To help students start the year on the right foot and tackle one of the biggest issues facing the district, MSCS is partnering with the Shelby County Juvenile Court for its first truancy resolution clinic. The main objective is to get the parents some help. They send their children to school. They have a lot of issues. Those issues include homelessness, transportation challenges, and medical concerns that may prevent students from going to school consistently. Wednesday kicked off a series of direct conversations with parents, helping them understand local resources, enrollment, and state attendance laws. We spoke with a parent at today's clinic who didn't feel comfortable showing her face. Sometimes we do need that extra help sometimes. Prior to this, I haven't had that issue, but he had a lot of issues with COVID last year. So that was the reason he had truancy. And I would give him a note, he wouldn't turn it in. So that's the reason we're here for truancy. I think from here on out, I'm just gonna turn on me and myself. While a first step, Dr. Stephanie Hill with the juvenile court hopes this clinic will lead to an overall solution. We're really trying to collect data from parents and understand for the parents who have come, clearly they want to be compliant. So they are the best advocates to let us know what those barriers are. At the ABC 24 Let's Talk Town Hall, MSCS school board member Stephanie Love asked state representative Antonio Parkinson for assistance from lawmakers. One suggestion, requiring community service from parents and students with truancy. Parkinson said this idea could be discussed as soon as a special session later this month. Pepper. Stefan, thank you. Well, a second clinic is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. at the juvenile court. Now, if you need help getting there, call the number on your screen. They will provide you with a MATA bus pass.